Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. It is Expresso right here on SABC3. A special guest in studio this morning, Yusuf Abramji, is a household name and a Twitter name, of course, <laughs> from breaking news live from crime scenes to giving social commentary and being on our radios. A former journalist and social cohesion advocate, he now adds another accolade to his title, author, in his latest book, Hashtag Hajj 2016, A Journey. He joins us now in studio to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning, Yusuf. Good morning, Leah. Lovely being in on my favorite show, Expresso. Oh, Thank listen, you. Listen, it's so good to have you, and we're Thank happy you. that this is your favorite show. Could I just say, first and foremost, congratulations on completing your first Hajj? Thank you very much. Uh, it was my first Hajj. I didn't yeah. go there to go and print a coffee table book, or even, I didn't even plan to have one, uh, yeah. Leanne. I went on the pilgrimage, uh, did a bit of social media along the way, yeah. got back about a month and a half ago, and I had about 1,200 phones on my camera phone. And my friend, Yasin Teba, now my publisher, said, uh, we can't let these photos disappear. I said, what do you mean? Wow. He said, we put, we put him together a coffee table book, and ah, believe it or not, there uh, it is. a month later, uh, printed, uh, published, and even launched in both Johannesburg and Cape Town. Wow. I love it. Before we talk about the book, yeah. let's talk about the journey. Um, for anybody who's maybe watching right now who's unfamiliar with what exactly the Hajj is, do you want to tell us exactly what it is and your experience? There? As you know, it is co compulsory for every Muslim, yeah. if you can afford it, at least once in your lifetime to go on the pilgrimage called the Hajj. There's a so-called mini pilgrimage called the Umrah, which you can do any time throughout the year. The Hajj is the biggest event in the world. Forget the World Cup, forget the Olympics. <laughs> forget that. Um, you have millions of people over the period of five days gathered in, around the holy city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia, and that is where we go. Um, it's about, uh, not Man United, the team, it's about Man United, where we stand side by side, we go to the holy city of Medina, where the beloved prophet, peace be upon him, is laid to rest, and we come to Mecca, we do the rituals, but Hajj is more than just the rituals, it is a physical journey, a spiritual journey. And that is where you come back even with a beard sometimes. That is amazing. <laughs> now, just looking from these photos, these photos were photos that you took on your phone, 12,000 of them, you said, and you, there was no plan to have this, but th three weeks later, it, or rather, it was done in the space of three weeks. I went and I took a lot of photos on my iPhone. I didn't even have a, pro I don't even own a professional camera, and I thought I'll just take them to, um, to, to highlight my journey on social media. I did a few mainstream interviews, and when I got back, I had all these photographs. My capacity on the phone was full. I downloaded it, and Yasin said, no, we have to print a book. Uh, I then got hold of my niece, the new editor of Mail and Guardian, Katija Patel. I said, I'm not paying you, you are editing the book for me. Yeah. I got hold of uh, Mohammed Ismail from Custom Islamic Art. He said he's putting the artwork together free of charge. Yeah. And then Yasin, together with the team, really put the, the books together. Even the printer went as far as saying, we'll print it for you at cost price. And then he brought it to Cape Town to a company here to do the binding. And now we're selling the book for charity. All proceeds going for charity for a hedge fund, yeah. which makes it easier for destitute pilgrims to go on the pilgrimage next year. Leah. That's amazing because I read that um, the, the, the Saudi government upped visa fees from 2,000 rand to a whopping 10 thousand rand and hopefully the sale of this book will go to those who might never be able to afford you know Hajj, Hajj and, and Umrah is a compulsion yeah. uh, when when they introduce fees we, we we are still continuing to fight that cause we hope they will reduce it 10,000 rand for That's a visa you. even if you have been uh, over the past three years you have to pay for it yeah. uh, it's totally unacceptable and really the book is not only for Muslims it's mm -hmm. for non-Muslims as well in fact at my launch on Sunday Neil De Beer a wealthy businessman from Cape Town I know he's gonna say wealthy because he might buy another hundred <laughs> books uh, he, he bought hundred books and he yeah. said he's giving it out to, to libraries free of yeah. charge I got my dear friend Catherine Constantinidis uh, from Generation Love Earth her. who's got a message on there and she's supporting the book even the public protector former public protector Tulema Doncella who tweeted us the this morning uh, is also supporting the book and Minister Derek Hanakom, Department of Arts and Culture. It's about social cohesion. You know, very often, Leanne, the religion is dubbed as one of being people of mm. terrorism and so on. And we want to show the world it's a peace-loving religion and we want to make a difference. You are suddenly making a difference with this book and, of course, the proceeds of this book as well. Thank you so much, Yusuf, for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you. The proceeds going to OCAF South Africa, Crescent Lifestyle. Uh, I'm leaving this book in the studio. Uh, yes, hello. <laughs> Score. Thank you, Leanna. Thank you for the opportunity and thank you for the support. Thank you so much. Well, if you want to get your hands on Yusuf's book, Hajj 2016, A Journey, you can do so by visiting www.abramg.com. All, all proceeds, of course, go to charity.